Welcome. What is low-dose CT for lung cancer screening? So the most recent recommendations from the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force in 2013 recommended that patients between the ages of 55 to 80 years old uh, receive a screening low-dose CT of the chest to evaluate for, uh, for possible lung cancer tumors. Patients have to have at least 30 pack year history of smoking, so that means either 30 pack or 30 years with one pack a day, or the patient can have half a pack a day for 60 years. Now, generally, patients do tend to underestimate the amount they've smoked, so what I ask them is at their worst or at the peak of smoking, how much did they smoke? And I use that as a gauge to calculate the 30 pack year history of smoking. The patients uh, can be either current smokers or they can be former smokers within the last 15 years. So now once you start this annual CT, so it's to be done every year from the age of 55 to the year, age of 80 years old, if, for example, they've quit smoking at uh, after, uh, and they've come to see you at uh, the 12-year mark, they quit 12 years ago, you can screen them for three years, and once they hit the 15-year mark, you can discontinue the annual screening because they would have already passed the 15-year mark and their risk of developing cancer at that point is, is low and, and the risk of false positives outweigh the benefits of it. The uh, the study was, well, the recommendation was actually based on the, uh, on the study run by the National Screening for Lung, uh, National Lung, well, hold on, NLST, my bad. Lung, National Lung Screening uh, Trial that was done and it released, the paper was released in 2011 in NAJM that showed a relative reduction of 20% a mortality reduction in patients uh, who were screened with the chest CT, low-dose chest CT versus a chest X-ray. Now, what's interesting is though the study was done based on patients from the age of 55 to 74 years old, based on computer and, uh, and statistical modeling, the U.S. Uh, Preventative Services Task Force increased that to 80 years old and the benefits were still lasting at that point. Now, what is low dose? Low dose actually is 1.5 milli SVs, and this is in comparison to the 8.0 milli SVs for diagnostic CTs that we run in, in patients um, that come in for diagnostic purposes. So it's important for us, if you're going to run this every year annually, that we specify that it's a low dose a lung, C, a lung uh, C, a chest CT. The other thing to consider as well in these patients is... Um, is that these patients should have get it done annually as a wrap up from the age of 55 to the age of 80 years old they have to be current smokers or they have to have quit within the last 15 years if they've quit longer than that then you don't need to uh, repeat the CT of the chest now one thing to note is that this is a screening CT. If the patient comes in with any ominous symptoms such as sweats, unknown source of fevers, a cough that won't go away, weight loss, hemoptysis, uh, and chronic sputum production that's worsening, and if you're getting a CT chest, that ends up being more of a diagnostic CT chest and not the low-dose uh, CT for lung cancer. The quality of the images are different as well. Thank you.